thing. You know, I, m movies can be earnest and bad. Right. They can be, have all of the good intentions in the world, but when they're earnest and they're right and they're important about our culture and who we are and tell the truth about us, right. that's kind of rare. You're in one of those movies. Oh, thank you. Do you feel that way about this? Uh, I do now. <laughs> I, I, you know, and I've, I've only seen it that one time, as I mentioned to you, with my family, but I, one of the things I really like about working with Jerry Bruckheimer, and I've worked with him twice, Crimson Tide, in mm -hmm. this film, he really has a passion for the films he makes, he produces, and, and, and that extends out, it spreads out to everyone, and I saw it coming into and through Boaz and all the other actors, and, and it, it made me want to be a part of it, it made me want to work hard, and yes, on the page, it's a good story, but in the wrong hands, it could have, mm -hmm. you know, been a hokey disaster. And, and, and b with Boaz and with Jerry's hand in it, they, they got it, I think, just right. What are we saying in this film? 30 years after desegregation, at least in this community, mm -hmm. we have a lot of communities that haven't even quite got there mm -hmm. yet. And I think it's even, aside from the racial aspect, it's, it's about respecting each other, be it two whites, two Puerto Ricans, two whoever, Slavics. It's about learning to respect each other and working together. And that, that, that doesn't always happen with, uh, within a race, you know. So I, I think it's just, it's, it's as much to do with the human condition as it is to do with race. I'm sitting there having coffee earlier with the coach that you play. And you have a responsibility to him because he's walking around the planet right now. Right. You can't just blow him off. Right. You feel that responsibility for him, to play him? Well, he was so... He couldn't believe the film was being made. He was so happy that it was being made. You know, I loved it when he, you, you know, you would think you'd feel uncomfortable with, 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 with the real man being around, but I loved him being around, especially when we were on the football field. I would get energy from him. And I really didn't try to portray him. I got a sense of his coaching style. I got a sense of his passion for the game and, and talking to his wife and how much he would watch the films and talking to some of the old players and how crazy he was and and so I just tried to you know mm. apply those things to my own style because I I've coached quite a bit not on a high school level but certain things that he would do I wouldn't do so I knew oh, God, I got to take this up a notch I get to make the good speeches and I know we're gonna win I read the script <laughs> so you know it was just it was fun it yeah. really wasn't it was fun it was difficult actually shooting the football games because they were all at night yeah. You know, it's hard playing football at 5 o'clock in the morning, you know, when it's 30 degrees outside. But. Acting like it's 6 o'clock. Yeah. yeah but you, know, you know what's really great about good sports films is that they're about things that are not about sports. You, you have a film where not only do the players have to integrate, but the parents have to. Right. right. And the coaches have to, and right. the families have to. Exactly. Boy, that's, that's a lot of ground to cover. I was saying earlier, one of my favorite scenes is when you see these kids get off the bus coming back from camp, and you see all the whites on one side, all the blacks on the other side. And it, we can learn so much from these kids. Yes, someone had to give them the idea because they showed up to camp uh, being the way that they were taught mm -hmm. by their parents. They went away to camp, and it didn't take long, even within a week, you know, when they get new ideas and new ways of thinking and finding out about other people's culture and other people's race. They're willing to give it a shot. It's us hard-headed adults that want to stick to our, our old ways. Yeah, so in a lot of ways, they educated the adults. You coach. Mm -hmm. You understand coaching a little bit. What, what is it about coaching that kind of fills you up a bit? Starting from, from zero with a group of strangers, you know, explaining to them that playing hard and playing fair and being good is okay. Being tough, you know, tough love, if you will. I run them to death, you little ones, you know and seeing them grow and take the ideas that you give them and make them their own. Learning to lose as well as win. I've had years where we were undefeated and I've had years where, what's the opposite? Un winning, <laughs> whatever winless. winless, where we were winless. And there's lessons to be learned in all of it. I mean, I, I grew up playing sports. The, the lessons that I apply to my life now, a lot of them I learn from sports and I enjoy passing that on to young, young men and women. That's good stuff. Nice film. Very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah.